Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with a bunch of workhorse products. Okay, these, I've wanted to do this for a while because I have a ton of products that I rarely talk about and I could not do without them. I use them daily. They're usually not that glamorous. They're usually beat up because they get used daily and I depend on them heavily. They usually make other products behave better or do what they're supposed to. So these are my workhorse products that I play with daily. And I'm thinking about making this a tag. I don't know if everybody has these workhorse products or if it's just me, but I think down below, I'll tag a few people and see if some other people want to do this because I'd like to see other people's workhorse products. And I'm just going to jump right into this. And I'm going to start with some products that I've had forever. I'm going to say since the 80s, maybe one of the first products I ever bought. And that is the Maybelline Stick Concealer. And I use, I still use this in several ways. For years, I used it on my inner corner my inner eyelid to brighten. So I would take these and just, you know, right there in the corner, do a little bit of that. And also right here under this to brighten during the day, just right there on that inner underneath. More than anything now, I lighten lipsticks with this and make a little spotlight right here on my inner lip. I also sometimes will do my whole lip with lip liner and then lighten it with this and then powder over it. I've done that since the 80s. And then I heard Natalie not long ago saying she does that too. So I love doing that. Okay, my next workhorse products are these two little pencils. One is the Jumbo Stick and Milk and one is the Sephora Brow Enhancer. This one, the Brow Enhancer, is what I use in the middle of the day because I don't have to put eyeshadow over it and it's not real stark. And I use this to brighten up in the middle of the day. And it just brightens that eye. And then it's not, so, it's not so stark white that I have to put eyeshadow over it. So this one doesn't get talked about a lot, but it's used daily. You see, that looks like eyeshadow now. I don't have to do anything with it. I just add a little brightness to my inner corner um, in the middle of the day. So I use this brow enhancer daily and I think those are I know they're under 10 maybe under five and then the jumbo stick this is the one that gets talked about all the time because I use this first thing in the morning and it is a workhorse and it brightens you know that inner corner and then I cover it with eyeshadow but this little Sephora brow enhancer it's just as much of a workhorse my next products are dewy setting sprays these add some moisture to whatever concealer I'm going to use I spray it on the beauty blender and then this is what I bounce out my concealer with. So it just adds a touch of moisture, but very light. And it just makes everything blend out beautifully. So I love these dewy setting sprays. And my favorites, I love this little mini Tatcha, and I think it was 20. But um, after that, I'll be using the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dew Mist. And I also love the Milani Dewy Setting Spray. So any dewy setting spray. I consider, you know, to do some good heavy lifting for me in the mornings. Okay, my next workhorse product is probably the most attractive in this whole bunch. And it's the, Chan the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I consider this workhorse because it's utilitarian to me. I don't get that excited about it because it's a little overwhelming. This lasts for about 20 years and it was just kind of sitting there. For some reason, I don't use this on my face that much, but I'll tell you what I use this on, my body. I use it to even out skin tone on my chest. If I forget to self tan and I just look pasty, I'll use it on my arms. I use this as a body bronzer and I leave it sitting in here on my vanity and I love this for that. I love it for, you know, a tan because I am pasty right now. And it evens up my chest and my gives my arms a little bit of a glow. So I consider this a workhorse product and I depend on it a lot. Okay, next, my Maybelline concealers, all of them. These Fit Me's, the Matte and Poreless or the Dewy and Smooth. I mix these in with other foundations that need some help. If I need them to be more matte, I'll do the matte and poreless. If I need more dewy, I'll do the dewy and smooth. If, it, if a foundation needs more cover and a prettier finish, I'll add the Superstay. Helps it out every time. 
And then my newest Maybelline workhorse is my Urban Dream Cover. This one I can use to make other foundations more dewy, but also if a foundation is too thick, which I guess I could use any of these for that, but this one's kind of thinner. So I like to add this one to something like the Charlotte Tilbury that's very thick, or my Smashbox that's also too thick. This thins those out beautifully and adds a beautiful, like a little bit of a radiance and a skin finish. So this is beautiful. So all of these Maybellines just stay right over here by themselves. And I use these as mixers and they do great for that. Okay, next eyeshadows. My workhorse products of the eyeshadow world are my Viseards. This is a Z palette that I've put a bunch of these Viseart 12 pan mattes in. They looked like this, they came like that. And um, I took them apart and put them in a Z palette. And then I have some more, you know, like this. But these are just workhorses. They make every other eyeshadow better. I used them today because I was using an eyeshadow that out here, this was just not quite pigmented enough. Get one of these out. In seconds, it's going to fix that. It's going to brighten something not bright enough. It's going to darken something not dark enough. It's going to richen up something that's not rich enough or blendable enough. These are the epitome of workhorse eyeshadows. And in here I have the cools, the warms, the neutral, and the dark mattes. Not exciting, but I would not want to go without these. And they make every eyeshadow um, better. Okay, next, a moisturizer, my Embryolise. This is just a good old-fashioned cleansing cream I believe it can also be used as a primer. Heard about this from Wayne Goss a long time ago. A lot of makeup artists keep this in their kits, and I love this. I keep it in my nightstand, and I keep replacing these and replacing these, because when I just need a little bit of moisture, I just slap this on. If I've got some peeling going on from a retinol, I'll use it on my neck. This is just great to have around. Now, this does have a slight scent very slight very light and pleasant but if scents bother you it does have a slight one i will tell you i have another one that's kind of given this one not a run for its many but i'm liking this one just as much and that's the first aid beauty ultra repair cream that one of you girls told me about if scents bother you you might try this one because it's the same kind of thing just a real good moisturizer just to keep in your nightstand and throw on anytime your skin's extra dry. So I'm loving both of those. Okay, my next product is my Nivea Sun Protect Water Gel. I'm putting this in my workhorse products because it is a workhorse and it's no frills. And I have had a lot of new fancier SPFs coming into my line of vision lately. And this one is holding its own against things like the Zio Skin Health. I've got some Dermatology SPFs, and these are lovely, but they're not replacing this one. I'm keeping this one for my face, and I'm putting these um, more expensive, kind of thicker ones. Those end up on my neck and my hands. This is my workhorse, that nothing's knocking it off its throne. Okay, next, my Neutrogena makeup removers. Y'all, these get a workout with me every single day. I use these to clean up eyeshadow messes. I use these to clean up over my lid when I get it up too high, like I kind of have over here. That could have come down a little bit. I would clean that up with the Neutrogena wipe. I clean off my desk with these. I've tried other brands and I always come back to the Neutrogena. I don't know what it is about them. They keep my area clean, they keep my eyes clean, and I love them. Okay, next, my utensils that are my workhorses. My beauty blenders. And I think this is a Miss A that was $1.55. I don't know. I can't tell the difference between this and a beauty blender. This one in my cheeky. And you can tell that's got blush on it. I use these for my concealer. I use these to um, kind of clean up little eye messes. And I use these for liquid blushes. I put the blush on the back of my hand. Kind of dip this in it and bounce it around. And then I put it on my cheek. These are probably my top face tool. Okay, then some brushes that do a lot of heavy lifting every day. These little Real Techniques complexion and blending brushes, they get such a workout, I can't even tell you, especially this guy. I start with my color corrector with this and blend it out. After I put my Milk Jumbo Stick, if it gets overly thick, I'll blend out. And then it will have the leftover of my color corrector on it. 
and I'll go around the edge of my eyeshadow. I still want to make that thinner. And I will just clean up all sorts of messes with this little guy. I'll come down here and cover shadows with him. I will tell y'all every day I clean one of these. I have so many of these that I keep down here. I use it and then I take it in here and I wash it with my African black soap. So I have one every day. I mean, I have a ton, but I wash one of those every day. And then this guy. This is a contour brush. I love this for highlighter. Hold on. We'll do a little bit because I can't get enough of the highlighter this year. This is the Flexitarian by ColourPop. And I would just dip him into the Flexitarian and then just right here on the tops of my cheeks. This is a perfect highlighter brush. If you just like your highlighter right here on the tops of your cheeks, oh, I love this brush for that. Oh, that's blinding. Hang on. Let me get my sponge and blend that out. Oh, that's another thing I use this for. I blend highlighter all the time with this. I love all of my Real Techniques brushes, literally all of them, but these get a daily workout. Okay, next, I have to include my Sigma E47. If I just had one eye eyeshadow brush, he does it all. He does my contour because it's so precise. Then he does my um, outer V. I even blend with him. This guy gets a workout daily. Okay, my next workhorse product is my color cleaner. And this is for brushes. And between every color I do, I clean my brush off and it keeps my eyeshadow looks clean. It keeps my brushes clean while I'm applying my eyeshadow. I don't know what I did before this. Well, I do. I made messes on my eyes. So the entire time I'm doing my eyeshadows, this is right in front of me. And I do a color and I clean my brush off. And then I do some more and I clean my brush off. And this just keeps all of my colors separated, stops me from getting muddy and making huge messes. It just saves my eyes. This saves my eye looks. Okay, and then my last thing is the little powder puff. I have these everywhere. And at the first of every day, this is what I put my transparent powder on to set all of my makeup and I press everything in together. After I put on my liquid blush, I press that in, and then if I have too much product on, this blurs things nicely. If I'm too powdery, I'll go over it with my puff. So I'm passionate about my puffs, y'all. I keep about 20 over here in backup, and these get a big workout every day. And that is all of my favorite workhorse products that do a lot of heavy lifting every day. And I think I will tag a few people down below because I really want to see what some other people say are their work workhorse products. But if, if I don't tag you, please feel free to do this and let me know that you do it because I would love um, to see it. And that is all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.